today we're looking at this Hafler SE240. We're going to do a few tests on it. Uh, signal to noise, maximum output from uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and uh, we'll see what the distortion levels are. Before we get started, I want to check the DC offset and the bias on this unit. Okay, the amp is on now. Uh, no speakers hooked up. I'm going to check the DC offset. That's uh, one side. And that's the other side. Unfortunately, this amp doesn't have adjustment to uh, turn down the DC offset, so it's uh, pre-adjusted. Now we're checking the bias. To check the bias, you have to pull out one of these rail fuses, and then you have to have your meter in the uh, amp mode. And uh, and we take our measurements from there. It's a little bit on the high side. I don't know the specs on this amp, so I'm just going to leave it as is. It's just to document this while I have it open. Okay, and this is the other channel. Um, it's a little bit. It's like double the the amps on this side. I'm going to speak to the customer and see what he wants me to do with it. Well, signal to noise is not doing too good. Uh, it's supposed to exceed 100 dBs, but uh, as you can see it's only doing 57. That's the uh, left channel. That's the right channel. So both channels are driven about the same, so... We'll investigate that. It's probably because of the... Um, the bias... is um, off. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, a 20 hertz test. See what it does on maximum output and distortion. I'm gonna crank her up. Just before clipping. Right around there. Nice clean sine wave. Distortion is uh, 0 0.01. This is the voltage, 32 volts, and this is in watts, 133 watts. That is the right channel. We'll go to the left. Looks like a clean sine wave there. Um, distortion is a little bit slightly higher, 0.3 percent, 33 um, power voltage, and this is in watts, 137 watts. That's at 20 hertz. Let's go to um, one kilohertz. One kilohertz. I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. Right around there. Ok. 
crank her up just before clipping. See it much better on this scope here. Around there, uh, distortion is 0.4%. Voltage is 33 volts, wattage is 141 watts. That's the left channel, right channel, clean sine wave, uh, it's really clean on this side, it's uh, 0, 0.0, um, it jumps a little bit. 06 33 um, volts and this is in watts 137 watts and that's at one kilohertz let's go to 20 kilohertz turn this down a little bit zero three percent distortion uh, 33 volts and 140 watts that is the right channel left channel clean sine wave 20 kilohertz uh, point two percent distortion 33 voltage and 142 watts. This is at 3940 Celsius. And this side is at 41, 42 Celsius. 43. So definitely this is a few degrees hotter on this side. Well, overall this amp is doing pretty good in power output, but I feel that the bias is a little bit too high. It's like double on this side, and with which this side is a lot more warmer than this side. But uh, I'm going to speak to the owner, maybe try to do some adjustments. Couldn't find any specs on this amp other for adjustments, but uh, I think they call for an average of uh, 150 to 300 on the bias, but that's just guessing right now.